What's up, y'all? It is a rainy Saturday morning, but I got some news for you guys. Now, I've been holding off on sharing this news for a couple weeks, uh, for a couple reasons. I was waiting on the customer to confirm we we're actually doing the build. Really, I was waiting for him to send that bread. So, deposits been made, things have been put in motion. I got an awesome new project coming up. So, the videos that I made on the car with the Will Woods and the coilovers and everything like that, the original plan for that car was uh, an LT4 swap. Uh, when the customer first hit me up, he was like, hey, I wanna do an LT4 swap. We were talking back and forth, different options and stuff like that. Um, I've never done one. You know, I let him know, hey, look, I've never done one, but I'm not afraid to try it. Um, I've reached out to a few people that have done it, kind of gave me some guidance. I think it should be fine. Um, so as it got closer to him bringing the car and everything like that, he said, you know what? The car already needs a lot of work as far as suspension. I want to upgrade the brakes. I want to do a Dakota Digital. I want to get the rear end built, all that stuff. Um, let's get all that out the way. And I did just pay to get the a, a rebuilt LT1 put in there. I think I want to just keep that LT1, but it's got some wiring issues. I want to get that cleaned up. So anyway, um, he decided, you know, we're just going to do the, the 96 LT1 and get that cleaned up. And... Um, you know, kind of go from there. Um, actually, you know what, let me set this up here. Uh, you know, get the 96 LT1 cleaned up and kind of go from there. So um, I said, okay, fine, we can do that. You know, we'll get a new wire harness from Ivan. We'll get, you know, everything we need to do. And then I made the videos, we did everything. So in the course of all that going on, um, we had another conversation and he said, hey, there's a guy out your way that has another engine that I'm interested in getting. Um, can you put that engine in the car? And I said, hell yes. It's something I've always wanted to do. I'm kind of going the same route on my car. So I kind of already done all the research and seen what it's going to take to do it. So um, a couple of you guessed right. I made a post on Facebook um, saying, hey, you know, I blurred out a picture of the, the engine. I was like, hey, guess what engine's going in this next project? A couple people guessed it. Most people got it wrong. Um, so pretty sure some of you already know what it is because um, in a few videos, I, the camera just, <laughs> the camera, you see it in the video. I never said anything about it, but just if you've been watching my videos and, and, and stuff like that, it's sitting in the corner of the shop and it's clear as day what it is. So ready for the big unveil? <laughs> yes, sir. You already know what time it is. So. This is a 6.2 LSA engine from a CTSV Cadillac. Um, I don't know the year, but based on the the stuff that's on it, I'd say anywhere from um, 2013, 14, whatever, 12 maybe, um, and everything like that. So this is the engine that will be going into that black 96 Impala. Um, we're putting a 4L80 behind it. Actually, the 4L80 is already built and ready to go, sitting here under the bench. So I just picked that up. So 4L80 is ready to go. Um, we're gonna be running Holly Terminator system on it. Uh, it is, our, the car's already getting a Dakota Digital. Um, from what I understand, this engine already has a cam in it. So when I get a chance, I'm gonna pull the rear cover off, just see what the specs on the cam is, see if that's a cam that we're gonna keep. Um, because it is a used engine, it wasn't a brand new engine. So the customer paid for it. I just went and picked it up, brought it here. I've had it here for a few weeks. Um, we finally got all our ducks in a row and figured out exactly what we're gonna do. So here we are. So I'm super excited about it. Um, plans for it. I am going to switch to the ZL1 Camaro lid on it. Um, I'm pretty much just going to leave everything else as is. I'm going to run whatever injectors are in here. Uh, you know, of course, I'll swap out the spark plugs. We are going to run probably the LS Simple LSA bracket assembly. Um, I am going to run a stock heat exchanger, stock pump. Um, you know, stuff like that for the supercharger. Uh, main reason for the CTSV. It looks cool. I mean, the ZL1 lid, it looked cooler, you know, and it also moves these ports from the back of the uh, supercharger to the front. So they'll come out the front here. The CTSV, it's in the rear and it wraps around and, you know, I'll probably paint the block red or black or whatever just to clean that up. We'll change the oil pan. We'll put some headers on it and um, we'll get this thing dropped in and run in the next few weeks. So I went ahead and did a whole big bunch of orders today. So I should have the parts in in the next couple of weeks. Um, Holly's on back order, of course, until the end of the month. Not a big deal because I, I don't plan on putting this in until I'm finished. I have another LS swap I need to do, which is this engine over here. This is a 6.0 uh, 4L80 as well. Um, 
I don't think I've talked much about this, but this is another engine that I have here that I need to, that needs to go into a car. So I got all the parts for this. I really, the main holdup for it was waiting for Virginia Blue to go home, but customers, you know, it's the holiday, stuff like that. So what I'm probably gonna do is take it home because uh, the other car that's getting the this engine, this engine here is at my house. Um, it's been in there for months. And the guy, the customer, he's super cool. Um, once I bring the car, you see his guy's Instagram on it. He's pretty known in the car world, uh, but communication, you know, I told him, hey, this was going on. This is why it's taking so long, you know, and we've just been talking. He knows, I saw him at Whip Addict's car show, you know, um, and it's always been love. So I, I know I appreciate the hell out of him for understanding. You know, I got backed up, things happen. Um, and I think a lot of, and I say this all the time, communication is key. A lot of these issues people are having with shops and shops with customers, is communication you know keeping deadlines if you have a deadline you know hey you know i'm gonna have this car done october 5th and october 4th or october 2nd is coming up and you're like i don't think i'm gonna have this done call the customer hey i know we said the fifth this happened this happened this happened i'm gonna need a few more days can you give me to the 10th i guarantee you the customer may not be happy about it like oh man i was trying to do this or do this but i guarantee you he'll be a lot more appreciative finding that out three, four days prior to the day he thought he was getting it than the day after. You know, October 6th comes and he's calling you like, hey, where's my car? Oh man, something happened, I need a few more days. Like, damn bro, you could've, you know. So that was the situation with this engine. I've had this car and this engine quite some time. Uh, but like I said, the, the main thing was getting some of these other uh, swaps out, cars out the shop, and Virginia Blue needs to go home just because my truck is still in here. We just ordered a bunch of parts for this, so I should have that together pretty soon. And because of the way the car is set up, I don't want to put keep it outside. Um, so that's kind of where we are with it. So once I get Virginia Blue out of here, I'll bring the other car in. We'll get this thing installed in that car. I think I got to get a rear cover. Oh, no, rear cover's on. Okay. Um, I just got to get a couple parts for this thing so I can get this thing done and out and um my truck uh so the summit mounts i was gonna get for it um they're out of stock till december 27th so i am gonna go with the atomic fab mounts but they're only i thought they were way more expensive they're only like a 40 dollars difference from the summit mount so atomic fab mounts and i'm still on the hunt for a zl1 converter um or a ctsv converter um so i'm looking today called a couple dealerships worst case scenario there's a company in vegas i'm gonna have to order it from uh but once that comes in we'll get this thing out of here and I can start driving again because I miss this truck so much. I miss driving this truck. I've been driving my wife's Tahoe. And I mean, I've, I'm really excited to feel the power plant in this thing with the cam and the, the, the bigger pistons and the long tube headers and the tune and everything that I'm doing to it. So I'm really excited about it and I can't, can't wait. Um, but yeah, guys, so that was the big news. Um, we got this thing going and uh, we're going boosted.